All right, what is going on everyone? Um, so some of you guys may know that I'm just getting over a cold myself, and so I figured this would be a good opportunity to address the question, should you train or not while sick? And there's a lot of different ways you can spin this. Right out of the gate, I should say that if you are contagious, it's probably good common courtesy to just stay out of the gym for the sake of the other members. But let's just assume that you know you have access to a private gym, or maybe you're not contagious, or something like that, then should you train while you're sick? And I think that first, it really depends on the severity of the sickness. If you have something like pneumonia, and your lungs are half filled with fluid, probably wouldn't be a good idea to go to the gym. Uh, however, if you just have something like a common cold, you'd be probably in what I would consider the gray area. And this is where it's not perfectly clear if you should train or if you shouldn't. And so I'm gonna try to help you guys come to that decision in the most science-based way in this video. For some reference on this, fitness expert Lyle McDonald suggests that if you're sick below the neck, um, so maybe if you have some chest congestion or a chest cough, wheezing, something like that, then it's best to just skip the gym altogether. However, if you're sick above the neck, um, so you have say like a runny nose, uh, maybe a headache, then you're in what I would call the gray area and you need to make a cost-benefit analysis. So a few things to consider here. First, assuming you're not just using your sickness as an excuse to skip the gym, which is something I'll get back to, it's important to keep in mind that most studies show that it takes at least two to four weeks to see any significant losses in muscle size and strength. And a 2012 study from Oga Saura and colleagues showed that when subjects trained either continuously for 24 weeks or trained for six weeks, then took a three-week complete training break, then trained for six weeks again, took another three weeks off, etc., they both ended up in basically the same spot when it comes to muscle size. Now you may notice that muscle size did drop a little bit in those three-week detraining periods. However, it's important to keep in mind that these subjects were untrained, so they may have been a little bit more susceptible to muscle loss. And also it seems likely to me that maybe those losses and muscle mass that were detected during those three week detraining periods uh, may have been just attributable to losses in glycogen or losses in hydration status and not true muscle loss per se. Um, so the bottom line here is that if you are a dedicated gym goer and not just using your sickness as an excuse, uh, it's unlikely that even taking a week off of training altogether will really seriously negatively impact your gains over the long term. Now, admittedly, some people may have a tough time deciding if they're using their sickness as an excuse or not. So one strategy that I use is to actually just go to the gym and do a bit of light, moderate intensity cardio. And this is what I did yesterday. Uh, I went to the gym, did 10 to 15 minutes of cardio, and then asked myself if I was in a good position to train or not. Now, as it turns out, doing that low intensity exercise is likely to be a positive thing anyway, insofar as it's been shown in research that doing moderate intensity and moderate volume cardio can improve immune function and sort of expedite your recovery in that way. In my case, after doing 15 to 20 minutes of cardio, I decided that I was still a little bit lightheaded, still feeling a little bit lethargic and still stuffed up and wasn't really in a good position to hit a good weight training session, so I decided to just leave it at cardio for that day. Um, but what I do find is that getting yourself to the gym puts you in a position to make a more proactive decision about whether you're actually too sick to train or if you're just kind of being lazy and wanna stay home. And there's really no risk here since the cardio is only going to help anyway. Again, assuming you're in that sort of gray area zone. And I'm glad that I did this and decided to take that bit of extra time off because now today I feel much more recovered and now I'm in a much better spot to go hit a solid workout tonight. Now, if you do decide to take some time off like me and you notice that maybe your physique looks a little smaller or maybe just a little softer or flatter, I would say that this is most likely attributable to decreases in glycogen and hydration status of the muscle, not real muscle loss per se. And glycogen levels and hydration levels will return to normal very quickly quickly as soon as you begin refueling and rehydrating again throughout your recovery. So to recap very quickly, um, if you're sick and contagious, you should avoid public gyms out of courtesy to others. If you're sick below the neck, then you should rest up. If you're sick above the neck, you're in that gray area and you'll have to make a judgment call. Uh, going into the gym and doing light cardio is a more proactive way to decide if you're too sick to train with weights or not. And light exercise may actually improve immune function and speed up recovery. And if you do decide to skip the weights, up to three weeks of detraining is very unlikely to negatively impact muscle mass over the long term. So you don't have much to worry about anyway. And any apparent loss in size is likely due to lower glycogen, 
which can refill very quickly. Um, so that's gonna conclude this video, guys. I really hope that you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you happen to be new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Got another sit down science-based video over here. Uh, you can check it out and give that one a watch. I will see you guys again in a couple days. I've got another daily vlog coming. I think you guys are really gonna like. And then after that, I've got a back science explained on the way. Uh, so lots of content coming. Stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.